Hey, Coffee with Creators fam. This is Rob Balasabas. Really glad to have you here. I'm the host of this podcast. I'm really excited for you to meet my good pal, Jack Kesar, who is the programming director at VidCon International. And so, I mean, if you're a creator, you've heard about VidCon and he is the man behind the scenes running all the different VidCons, not just the one in California, all the VidCons. And so really excited for you to meet him. But before we jump into it, I wanted to invite you, for those of you, I've been getting a lot of emails and DMs and messages over the last, I'd say probably several months from different folks out there that have been catching the podcast or my videos on YouTube and just asking me really specific questions. And I've been thinking the best way to serve more of you in a deeper way um, and really speak into some of the situations, your scenarios with your business, with your content. And I have decided to open up some coaching slots during my week to have a conversation with you to really give 45 minutes to 60 minutes of each call to answer really specific questions that you have with building your business, building your audience, creating different revenue streams, launching different courses or memberships, affiliate marketing, brand deals, and just all sorts of specific questions around building your creator business. And so uh, if this is something that would serve you, that you would find value in, then look for the link in the description here on the video and fill out the form. I'll be in touch with you and we can coordinate how those coaching calls will go. I hope that serves you well. I'd really love to just dig into and pour into some of those different businesses that you are already building. I'm excited for the opportunity to help some of you in a more deeper way. And so hopefully that will serve you well. And so before we jump into this conversation, I also want to thank our sponsors for this video, StreamYard and Opus Clip were both tools that I use personally that have helped me grow my channel here, my audience here as well. And it's just amazing tool, it saves me so much time. So if you are creating content, if you're live streaming, if you're podcasting, if you're doing any sort of content creation, then definitely check out StreamYard and Opus Clip. There's links in the description so you can go and check them out, get a free trial and really see if that's gonna be a fit for your business. All right, thanks again. Here is my good friend, Jack Kazar. Hey, Jack, welcome to the podcast. Glad to have you here. How's it going today? Yeah, good. Thanks so much for, for having me, Rob. It's uh, it's an honor to be here. My first ever podcast. So, <laughs> as a guest, so, so super excited. What an honor, man. Well, uh, yeah, glad that you were able to make some time. I know you're a busy guy. I've been traveling the world and uh, a bit of uh, like we were just ch kind of joking around. It's off season for you, like during the fall, winter, I guess, a little bit. And um, yeah, you're not traveling yeah. at least. Yeah. Yeah, it, it it is nice to be uh, back. I'm based in the UK, so it's good to be in the UK, even if it is uh, winter here now. So it's a bit cold and, and miserable, but uh, good to be good back home at least. Yeah, yeah, no, that's good, man. I'm glad. And uh, yeah, you guys had a whirlwind uh, of a year, I guess. How many how many countries have you been to this year? Um, four back and four. forth. So we started. Yeah. Uh, when was it? it? Must have been yeah. End of June was Anaheim, obviously our big flagship show, um, and then it was straight after that to Brazil uh, to Sao Paulo for our first ever show there. Then it was Mexico again, which is in its second year of VidCon, and then um, finally finished off with uh, Baltimore again, Baltimore. first first East Co East Coast show. So uh, that was awesome as well to kind of finish off with that one. So couple of new it's been busy yeah yeah i bet and then now it's busy and yeah and then planning for next year i want to get into yeah. all of that i want to get into some of your uh takeaways from the creator economy i'm sure you had lots of conversations with creators and industry experts and you know some of the big players out there and the brands and platforms and stuff so definitely want to pick your brain on that but before we get into that um quick introduction uh jack uh just who you are what you do at vidcon and uh and yeah and then we'll we'll jump into some uh some questions and thoughts here yeah, absolutely. So uh, I'm I'm Jack Kayser. I am programming director for VidCon. So overseeing all the programming uh, for all our shows, not just in the US, but internationally as well. So um, so so that is me. Awesome. Awesome. And um, what is uh, before VidCon? What, what was Jack doing? What were you, you know, last couple of roles and how did you kind of uh, land this? crazy crazy role yeah. at vidcon yeah <laughs> it's uh to be honest i kind of 
it's it's been a bit of a journey i actually started in the music industry um, okay. way back when so uh, that's what i studied at university and then kind of went more into the management side of things traditional music management mm. uh, which then kind of long story short took me into like the world of um early twitter days uh, oh, okay. when i was working yeah. with pop bands and things like that so that was kind of my first introduction into um social media world creator economy where where i was working with bands and musicians um kind of growing their their business and, and and what they were doing online um through twitter you know when you could still trend bands and things like that um and then um through that was lucky enough to um get introduced to uh a guy called Con conrad withy who was um president of warner music at the time and then he was setting up kind of like a business where it was working with um digital musicians uh you know it was the early days of like the justin bieber thing where it was like trying to find youtube musicians build them grow them um and ultimately like, kind of uh, take them back into the music industry and sign them to major labels so um started working with him at a company called pop shack which um really focused that on on finding digital musicians so uh, that's when i kind of firmly put my feet into um the creator economy world so started working there for a few years which then led me on to managing more traditional um, influencer talent. And then uh, I was actually a speaker at VidCon Amsterdam uh, the first year they did it there. So that's kind of where I got introduced to VidCon and, and Jim Lauderback, who I know, um, you know, you, you're, you're familiar with and, and, and uh, see at all the shows. So yep. he, um, he then kind of, introduced me to vidcon i was a speaker and then when they were looking for someone when they announced vidcon london they were looking for someone to kind of um help and be a part of that ride um with programming and stuff and being the boots on the ground so um that's kind of how i how i got into it uh, initially just working on vidcon london as programming director for london and, and hence why i'm based uh, over here so mm. and that just kind of expanded my role within vidcon working across all our shows internationally and now um us as well and us as well the big the big anaheim one right the the big one yeah the mecca yeah. the mecca yeah yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's really good um yeah vidcon is so i mean you guys are all remote or are you guys how are you guys structured there yeah so we we're, we're kind of um all over the place i'm the only one based out, outside of the us so i'm outside the, oh really uh, oh wow the token brit in the team so um, <laughs> the, the the rest of the team are kind of split between uh, montana uh, where kind of VidCon originally started from with with Hank, um, yep. you know, when he was still uh, overseeing yep. it. And, and then the team now um, with Paramount are based out in, in LA as well. So we've kind oh, of okay. yeah. been uh, Montana and, and, and LA. And then we've got a couple in, in New York as well. But those are the two main main hubs for us. Got it. Got it. That's amazing. Yeah. I mean, it's really impressive how you guys can run this all remote and you have massive, massive productions. And, you know, even the new one that I went to in Baltimore, that was like a very, like very well run, you know, from a attendee experience. And I know like my colleague Adair Smithwick uh, from a speaker experience as well is really, really, uh, really smooth and, you know, just really fun to be honest. Um, you know, so a uh, lot of, a lot of kudos to what you guys have been doing. You guys are definitely pros at, at this and, um, cool to see all the creators come together. Um, I'd love to hear, uh, you know, you, I mean, I saw you at the industry, um, event, um, in Baltimore and, uh, I know you talked to some of the, you know, the big players there. Uh, I'd love to hear just like one or two of your biggest takeaways with the, you know, with the creator economy, um, you know, moving into as we're now moving into 2024 as we're recording this yeah. um yeah what's your you know being in the industry for a while now um with musicians and everything and you know um yeah i'd love to hear like one or one or two of the ones that really stood out to you um in, during your conversations there in the hallways yeah yeah absolutely um i really think at the moment we're the creator economy is in like a weird like transition phase uh, and from kind of like speaking to people it really feels like it's kind of not to bring it up again but like post covid it felt like things people were growing really quickly companies and businesses were growing really quickly and now it kind of feels like it's like consolidating a bit where you know um a lot of creators are building brands um really successful brands i, th I think you know you need to look at 
you know, Prime as, as a great example where it's like, you know, big creators now are looking at ways to, you know, build their businesses that aren't just on platforms and, and really owning their audiences. And I think there's a, a big shift now on how creators are owning that audience. Um, you know, you know, great example with like what you guys are doing um, at Uscreen, you know, where it's like, how, how can creators monetize their content um, and not rely on platforms, you know? platforms are ever changing i feel like at the moment it's it's changing a lot so um just really need to start looking at ways to own their audiences build brands and and really consolidate um you know and be really strategic about how they're building um those brands and building those audiences and and, and building brand loyalty mm-hmm. um so that's a really interesting thing that that i think um we're going to start to see m- more of and i think going into anaheim uh, a big thing we're going to be um looking to kind of speak about not just from an industry standpoint but also from a creator standpoint and then another thing is looking at you know kind of on that similar wavelength that's like looking at really interesting ways to uh, build communities i think live streaming is is super interesting um you know the the live shopping element is something that i'm personally really interested in, in exploring more and i think there there are gonna, we're going to start to see a lot more of that happening as well so um i really think a big a big theme um going into next year is is that it's like how can you own that audience not just from a creator standpoint but also from a a brand perspective as well yeah yeah i like i like what you shared there um i noticed the at the vidcons that i've been going to um when you say that creators are brands it was really interesting to go to the expo hall where all the booths and sponsors were and they weren't (laughs) just companies there were creators there selling you know, their books and their merch and, yeah. you know, people were going there. And uh, to some degree, some of the younger audiences, some of the younger attendees didn't really even know the brands. They're just like they went to the to the creators brands and because they really yeah. resonated with them. Right. It was really interesting. Sort of that shift that's starting to happen. It's going to be interesting. That's for like the Gen oh, Z and true. like the younger brands. But also mm-hmm. I do see, of course, you know, the the grown up creators, you know, uh, you know, with like you said prime um and there's also their launch you know peter hollands for example i know he's a good friend of um vidcon um has Mm -hmm. his you know is is hiring uh bringing creators into the brands and injecting them into executive roles and there's just all all these cool things that are happening um oh dude it's it's super exciting it's like we're i i really think we're at a super exciting stage of the creator economy where we're going to start to see more creativity um, you know, and this whole new, the whole new like wave of, you know, C-suite execs coming from being creators, you know, exactly what Peter's, Peter's doing, which is amazing. You know, I think we're going to start to see a lot more of that, um, and, and I th- start seeing a lot more success coming off the back of that for these major brands. So, um, so yeah, I really think we're in an exciting place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you mentioned Jim. I mean, Jim has a, I'm actually working with Jim on his newsletter now and there's some partnerships oh, that's happening there. You know, there's all these cool things <laughs> that um again, the bl- the lines are so blurry with, you know, 10 yeah. years from 10 years ago, like Hollywood and media. There's a lot of like, ah, oh, I don't know if I can like as a creator, I'm just like a YouTuber. How am I going to get in there, you know? Like but yeah. I think I feel like the lines are very blurry now. <laughs> um Oh yeah, and and the gatekeepers are gone now as well, which is um, Exactly super exciting to see as well you know yeah yeah absolutely absolutely um and then yeah community yeah um exactly Mm -hmm. you know we're we're big on community here um and uh yeah you guys are doing a great job there with community and um yeah it's definitely a lot of creators are monetizing their community which is another uh whole another opportunity for them so um that's very good that's very good I'm, i'm glad that you guys are seeing that um in 2024 you know what are some things that you guys are doing and you know, in the next year um, with the events that, uh, yeah, uh, that you could kind of share. I know some some things are probably guarded secrets until uh, yeah. you guys announce things, but what are some cool things that we can look forward to there in, uh, you know, 2024 at, at the events? Yeah, I think um, we're still very much planning um, the big picture stuff, but I mean, really one thing that we, we want to focus on um, going to all our events and something that is front of mind is is how can we continue to increase the the attendee experience at our events so be you know from an industry standpoint like networking is a big thing that we we get constant feedback from people when i have more net, networking opportunities so so really looking at how we can um enhance that experience for for attendees from an industry standpoint um so that so that's a big focus for us as well this year 
Uh, and apart from that, you know, one thing we launched in Baltimore from a community standpoint, which was a super hit, was our um, Crown the Creators um, sessions, which were more game-based, um, yeah. kind of fun um, activities on stage. So that's something we're really looking to do more of this year and really build off the success from Baltimore and bring that, um, bring that kind of experience to, to Anaheim. So super excited um, about that yeah. uh, as well. Nice, nice. Yeah, some more interactive games. Uh, yeah, That's I think um, our friends Eric, Eric Way from Carrot That's hosted a couple of those. Of, uh, yeah, games. Yeah, that was awesome to see. Yeah, Eric and uh, Zach were amazing. Yeah, they were they were really good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and and the networking is fantastic. I think that's like uh, VidCon for us. I mean, this is you know ob- you know kind of a bit of a plug, but like it's the one where we're like all we're like all right, executives, myself, like team leads like let's attend this because this is like everybody goes you know it's like hey let's just like meet everybody here you know rather than flying to all the cities let's just meet everybody in anaheim or (laughs) now baltimore you know in the east coast uh so that's awesome yeah, no, that's great. great to hear from our side as well. You yeah, know? yeah. <laughs> I bet. I bet. Um, all right, cool. Well, uh, I, I want to make sure we make the most of the time with you. And I know that there's a lot of creators that are listening, watching this um, this podcast um, on uh, on the podcast and also on YouTube as well um, that are thinking about their own events, um, you know, and so uh, obviously not to the scale of VidCon, but um, do you have any advice for, you know, solopreneurs or small teams of creators that are like, Hey, it would be cool to like bring our super fans together or our partners mm-hmm. together or something, you know, what's some like real advice there, or maybe like some heads up, <laughs> some warning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, my best advice would be, um, events are tough. Um, <laughs> and knowing that going into it, I think, um, yeah, it, th- there's a lot that go into events. I think people just see the final result when they go to events and just kind of see the sessions on stage and the expo hall and, and the fans running around having a great time, but don't necessarily always um, realize the time, work, effort um, that, that kind of goes into into building that. You know, everything from security to, you know, building out the schedules for everyone. It's it, it's it's tough, but also the other side of the coin is that it's very rewarding. You know, when, when you see that, come to life your ideas come to life um you know it's super super rewarding so i would say if anyone wants to do their own fan event absolutely um go for it i, I would never want to put anyone off doing it but just really know that it's um it it's tough and it's stressful moments for sure um, yeah 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 it's definitely a lot of work it's a lot of work yeah <laughs> yeah definitely a lot of work um uh, and and for the the folks out there where they're they're in brands or uh you know um working for a company and looking to you know attend events or sponsor events what are some of the things that they can look at to uh you know sort of sell the idea to the, the higher ups what's the the roi in events what are some of those things that you i'm sure you have these conversations with brands and sponsors and stuff um yeah what's what's yeah. the best way to kind of frame it so that you sell the participation at events at vidcon for example yeah yeah i mean i'll give my thoughts but also yeah I mean, yeah please you, you come from side so uh, i'd love to know what 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 your sell is to, yeah, yeah to get you and your team all there so um yeah i think for us really it's um a real mix of you know coming to, to vidcon you're there to learn you know ultimately we have sessions workshops that are really aimed towards like um we want the attendee to leave from there tangibly, you know, learning something new that they can take to their company and, and put into practice and ultimately grow that company. Um, so that's a big piece. But then the other piece is that the networking element, like you said earlier, you know, for, for you and, and, and your team, when you guys um, go to VidCon, it, you know, it is the place where all the creator economy and the industry you know, come together. That one time a year where you know that, you know, people that you might speak to online, um you know throughout the year are going to be there so you can meet them in in, you know in real life network you know and and hopefully come out of it with tangible business opportunities that you know that you can hopefully look back on and go you know because i met so and so at vidcon and you know we did this business so so i really think there's two parts to it where it's like the networking element but also the the physical going to learn um and that and that's a big part of what what vidcon's all about 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think that's exactly what I would say is uh, for us, uh, we go there to learn. I think the latest and sort of the newest, uh, all the trends and all the ways that you work with creators. And, you know, if that's for us, uh, because we are a brand, um, we work with creators on sponsorships and, and all those sorts of things. Um, so that's one. There's a sales aspect to it as well. You know, if you want to sell, you know, like if you have a product or a platform or a service, like that's a great place to sell and find not only customers, but also uh, promotional partners or, you know, people that would promote your product or service to their audiences and sort of like in that partnership way. And then networking, which kind of encompasses that as well. I mean, it's just a great way to um, get the like a pulse because there's a, a lot of fans there as well. And so if you just kind of yeah. people watch, I did this at Anaheim and, and also in Baltimore. I just kind of sit, lunch, just people watch and like see how the interactions are going. Um, yeah. There's a lot of takeaways there that you can bring back to your teams that you can then like, hey, this is actually how people are interacting with creators. This is the dynamics. Um, mm -hmm. and, you know, it's uh, all of that, you know, and, and again, just by going to one of, you know, a VidCon, you'll you'll learn so much and all of those things. You, I, I came, I always come home with like pages of like notes <laughs> and then I have to like That's unpack awesome. for the unpack <laughs> for the team. So um yeah that was kind of a, a rhetorical question that i asked you there <laughs> no no that's awesome that out, hey, but... that that's yeah. great to hear i mean like you said you you're you're there every year so um it, yeah it's great to hear from your side as well you know and, and like you said i think a big point just to add on to that is the for brands and companies coming to vidcon just seeing the creator economy in real life the fans yeah. interacting with it is um you know, I think a lot of the time we, we sit behind a screen, like sending out emails, doing the work, but like actually seeing it in real life, like yeah. you said, and seeing how, how they interact is like, for anyone that's not been to VidCon, it is, it is quite an experience. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, that is part of the magic of what VidCon is, you know, it's, it's bringing that to life. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you get to see uh, meet Jack and, and the rest of the crew over there. So uh, <laughs> there I know, go. right? Yeah, that's uh, worth the mission, right? So <laughs> um, amazing. Jack, uh, I just want to thank you. I know you're a busy, busy guy. You've got a lot on your plate, but making time it. for our, uh, our community here on the podcast. It's always been really good to connect with uh, with you here and, and seeing you on LinkedIn. Um, where's the best place for people to A, check out VidCon, when it's happening, mm -hmm. how to get there? And then also connect with you and all the things that you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. So anything VidCon um, to all our events, you can go on to vidcon.com. And then from there, you can um, kind of go through to the specific event for VidCon that you're you're interested in seeing more information about. Uh, for me personally, um, I'm on LinkedIn, um, trying to be more active on LinkedIn. So feel free to add me, Jack Kayser. Um, Jack spelled J-C-Q-E-S. Most people get get that bit wrong. So uh, yeah, see me on there. Drop me, drop me a message. Um, connect with me. I'm I'm pretty active on there. So uh, yeah. awesome, awesome. That sounds good. Yeah, I'll have all the links to uh, of course VidCon and then also uh, your LinkedIn. Um, yeah, make sure you awesome. connect with Jack. And uh, Jack, thank you so much for your time, man. We'll have to have you back on again uh, next year. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it, Rob. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully see you in uh, in Anaheim in, in a few months. Oh, absolutely. You can count on well. it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it, dude.